Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2021, on this month of September 7th, Tuesday morning, to worship our God, to praise our God, our Heavenly Father, for every wonderful opportunity. Let us tell our Lord, thank you. Let us lift a hand and worship Him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Last full morning, our Lord who protected us, let us tell Him. Thank you. This night, the Lord who gave us good sleep, tell him thank you. This morning, with good health and happiness, the Lord who woke us up, our dear Father, let us tell him thank you. Father, thank you. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. When we remember how you have preserved us, how you have guided us, other than thank you, we don't have anything else to say. Last morning, you woke us up. You held a hand and led us with good health and happiness, and under your wings, you. protected us and you covered us other than your grace and mercy we don't have anything in our life to enjoy this life with peace and happiness hallelujah and to sit in your presence father thank you for the good sleep you gave and blessed us last night thank you and you who woke us up this morning with good health remembering your faithfulness we tell you thank you thank you lord thank you hallelujah father thank you in psalms 65 it says praise is awaiting you o god in zion and to you the vow shall be performed verse number 2 o you hear prayer to you all flesh will come blessed is the man you choose and cause to approach you that he may dwell in your courts we shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house o of your holy temple by awesome deeds in righteousness you will answer us o god of our salvation you who are the confidence of all the ends of the earth and of far off seas hallelujah my awesome deeds in righteousness you will answer us o god of our salvation hallelujah let us all close our eyes and tell our lord thank you hallelujah let us pray together hallelujah let us not be disturbed or look here and there but let us unitedly pray dear heavenly father for this wonderful blessed morning thank you hallelujah father thank you last full morning and last night you who protected us thank you this morning with good health you who woke us up father thank you we are worshiping you lord we praise you lord we are telling you thank you hallelujah we love you we glorify your holy name thank you father thank you jesus we are worshiping you we praise you lord hallelujah we tell you thank you thank you thank you this morning lord all who are hearing this voice today we pray for them you who have the authority over heaven and earth father let everyone be blessed we bless their family life we bless the children you have given we bless their way of living we bless their home father we bless the nation that they are in father your mighty grace thank you for covering them lord this morning those who are sick in the name of jesus let them be healed where they have no happiness in their family lord jesus let them enjoy the peace of yours those who are having a difficulty in their work father deliver them we pray hallelujah those who are going through financial problem deliver them lord Father, those have got a continuous discomfort in the stomach. This morning, in the name of Jesus, let them be healed. Gastric problem, acidity problem, ulcer problem. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Complete healing in the stomach. In the name of Jesus, Father, we declare it. Those have got a pain beneath the spinal cord. Those who cannot sit and sit or walk and where it is spreading towards the leg father let it be stopped in the name of jesus let the spinal cord be healed let the veins be healed let the compression be gone father and to sit and work peacefully thank you father for you are healing your children hallelujah father those who are suffering from covid those who are in the hospital where the oxygen level is decreasing father those who are suffering from pneumonia this morning in the authority in the name of jesus complete Need healing. We declare it upon your children. Let the health be restored back. For there is nothing impossible for you. Thank you for delivering your children. Furthermore, we give it into thy hands, Lord. We bless these people in your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you for you are guiding us, giving your word, filling us with your presence, with your anointing, with your power and your strength. Father, we thank you. 
for the wonderful blessing you are filling us today and we give you all the glory thank you father for hearing our prayer in jesus mighty name we make this prayer amen amen and amen today further we are going to read from isaiah 26 verse number 3 isaiah 26 verse 3 you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you over here the the word of god is saying whose mind is in god not the one whose heart is wavering whose mind is in doubt but when you face a problem and when you trust in god completely without moving backward without thinking anything else without doubting god when you completely trust and put your hope in god what will he do he will give you perfect peace if a person does not enjoy peace meaning that he does not trust god the one who trusts god will enjoy complete peace so everyone together say my god requires from me is perfect peace what he wants in my life is not a little peace not a little more peace but what he desires for you and for me is complete and perfect peace hallelujah in the book of proverbs 17:1 says better is a dry morsel with quietness than a house full of feasting with strife just by having so much food or bank balance or just by having a good financial background is not what brings you peace if you don't have anything also you can be at peace if you don't have anything also you can enjoy happiness it is talking about godly peace and happiness over here jesus said i live you with you my peace hallelujah the peace that god gives is not situation your condition that gives you peace but then inside of us jesus christ gives us a peace. peace that is what it says a peace that passes all understanding knowing that my jesus is with me it says over here the one who keeps his mind on you when a person trusts in god what will god do he will give him perfect peace how does he trust god he trusts god by trusting in the word of god when a person depends on the word of god that will be his shield that will be his tower what the word of god says completely believing it without a doubting but believing completely from your heart and when you wait on god is called a trusting in god the world will not give you peace the news channels everything that we read and see or hear is what makes our peace go but our heavenly father gives us all peace the word of the lord says in psalms 91 verse number 10 no evil shall befall you whatever happens in the world whatever pandemic come whatever famine come we will not be affected for my heavenly father has said no evil shall befall me nor shall any plague come near my dwelling and i believe that completely we should declare that saying my father has said to me no evil shall befall me and in all my ways to protect me he has commanded his angels and when i believe that whatever problem i hear whatever challenge i face my mind will be at peace for it will not come near me because the word of god that is said to me will not change i am like a tree planted beside still waters and all the works of my hand will be blessed that is the word of god that god has promised me and when i believe that and when i wait for it it will happen in my life hallelujah in christ everything is complete so if we face any difficulty i know very well that in christ jesus according to his glory he will fulfill it for me and when i believe that it will be mine and i will enjoy perfect peace God desires good peace in your life so to live in perfect peace always trust in God completely and if you trust in his word completely the word of God that does not lie that does not change we should believe but unfortunately many children of God with the word of God according to the promise of God they are unaware hallelujah only if you say the word of god declare it and proclaim it and confess it will it start affecting or will it start taking hallelujah plan in your life 
Hallelujah. We can enjoy peace in a house like how the river flows and the only way for it is trusting in the word of God. Teach your children to trust the word of God. Say, child, this is what the word of God says and it will happen like that because the word of God says it will happen in my life. Dear brother, what the word of God says, it will happen in your life. So trust in God. Trust in God and enjoy perfect peace to search for peace we go and visit pilgrim places we go to doctors we go and eat medicines we see counselors but then the word of god is the only thing that gives you peace so trust and believe and hold and declare the word of god and that will give you peace and with these words let the lord bless you in the name of jesus we will grow we will increase and we will multiply we are blessed we are really blessed and we are permanently blessed and all those who are hearing this voice today let the lord bless you with perfect and complete peace of his god bless you god bless you god bless you today hallelujah